This is the thumbnail. Oh my. Hey everybody, it's Rock'em Sakura! I'm not just from season 12 because that season is over. I'm on YouTube now. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we're gonna be doing something extra special. We're gonna be drawing one of my season 12 sisters, Miss Jada Essence Hall. I have been wanting to draw her for so long. You know, Jada's one of my most treasured sisters. And I think that now that she has, spoiler alert, in case you guys are following some random drag queen, Jada won season 12. My sister, Jada, woo! She won season 12. I'm so proud of her. So today we're gonna be drawing her in one of her finale outfits, her beautiful galaxy chic look. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, perfect. So whenever I do my uh, illustrations, typically if I'm doing digital painting, I will do it in Photoshop. You know, um, this year is the first year that I've ever been able to pay for Adobe Suite. So uh, don't come for me, Adobe. I love Jada. Her facial structure is so perfect. Like her cheekbones, like the way that her jaw is constructed. I'm in love with Jada's nose too. The main point right here, like with your undersketch layer, at least for me, is to kind of just establish your pose. Um, really just get your dynamic shapes. If you're doing just like a plain illustration like I am, you wanna, um, you wanna frame your subject well, um, or think of your framing in the box that you're doing, you know? Her boobs were so nice in this one. Is it rude to say I wanna make it more anime? I love to start with uh, backgrounds that are gray because um, it, it helps me kind of understand my values. She's always been such a big supporter of rock and ever since that first episode, she has been one of my biggest cheerleaders too. I could not imagine my Drag Race experience without her. She has been nothing but a friend and an inspiration to me, honestly. That first shirt that I came out with, with my biker look um, from promo, I painted that the night before we got released. Like, I painted the whole thing the night before we got released because I was so nervous that I knew I was not going to be able to sleep. <clears throat> I was saying before how I like to kind of uh, block out my values with the gray layer. You can also take that um, the tone from the background here. I'm, I'm eye dropping tool the gray, and I'm using it to define her silhouette right now. I'm kind of using it to kind of carve out how her painting is going to look. So I got most of the mid tones down. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add some highlights to kind of define the uh, the different planes of her face. When you're in these first um, when you're in these first few layers, do not focus on small potatoes like um, just like the face um, because you can define that later. Um, the main thing you want to do is focus on your silhouette. I literally said don't focus on the the small details, and then I continued to draw Jada's face. <laughs> My art hasn't always been good, but the thing is with the anime community, there's always people who are willing to buy and help your art grow. Like people in, in the like anime fandoms are like drag race fandoms, like they will buy it and they'll support like small artists and I really appreciated that about the, um, the anime community. Okay, now that I'm done with doing the fucking detail on her face that I said I wasn't gonna do, Let's finish blocking out the rest of the painting. I kind of like having people watch me right now because it kind of keeps me accountable. When I do stuff by myself, I'm just like, mm, I'm gonna stop for four months. I did commissions. You know, I did anime commissions and I wanted to kind of use my art and make myself some money. And what happened was I, um, I hated doing commissions. So I'm really glad that I, you know, like drag, either I found drag or drag found me because um, drag lets me do whatever I want to do. So I want Jada's silhouette to be really dynamic here. So I'm just going to, as much as I can, make her billowing arms even bigger than I know that they were. 
So it helps to kind of like en envision what you're doing in front of a mirror to kind of get that feeling. This backhand right here, I like it, but it's not as dynamic as I would like it to be. I feel like if the pose, if I want the pose to be better, I'm gonna have to bring up her hand just a little bit. And because I lifted up her arm, I want to change this part. People still wonder if I'm bitter about the bad apple thing. And the answer is, no, I'm not bitter. But I'm completely bitter. Adam hears it every night. I just, I toss and turn and um, in my sleep. And I'm like, oh, the apple, I know. Why, why, why wasn't I the apple? I, God, God help me. You know what I just noticed is that her head is like fully far away from her, like where the actual neck her head should be. <laughs> See, when you when you paint long enough, you kind of realize that like you can't trust your underlayer because her neck is right here. And then her body is over here. Like that doesn't make any sense. So, I'm going to kind of sketch again where her body should be. There we go. Especially with this pose. This pose is insane. This is insanity. Also, I am a professional drag queen now. I'm not a professional illustrator anymore, so if you have any problems, do not come for me. Okay, so I've kind of blocked out where her sleeves are. We're just gonna add some dimension to the sleeves. I'm just gonna take some of these mid-tones and I'm gonna place them near where the darkest tones are and it's gonna kind of emulate folds. You wanna take like either a life drawing class or specifically on clothes drawing because those classes will definitely help you render things like folds. I love calling Jada Jada 8 cents haul. I don't know why. It's so stupid. <laughs> Just like I call Widow Widow Fondue. I wanna go, I wanna make her sleeves, but at the same time, I kind of want to make them more fantastical. And she was going for, her and her designer were going for a look that was very inspired by like space. So I want to have her sleeves be a mixture of her actual sleeve and the concept she was going for. That first rehearsal that we had for the first episode, Jada and I were both very visibly shaken. And her and I were so upset from that day. We were just so distraught, you know, early on, or like at the end of the day. And I remember on the car ride home, uh, or the car ride back to the hotel, Jada held my hand the entire time. Without saying a word, she held my hand the entire car ride home because she's a good sister. That, that was one of the moments where I knew that she was destined to be in the top and to be know, just like someone that Drag Race was never gonna forget. I love drawing my sisters. You know when I got eliminated, I drew all my sisters. And then I threw it all away because I was so frustrated that I went home. <gasps> Crap! Okay, so we learned this in art class. If you start to get a finger cramp, you just gotta Move your fingers like this. It's just like stretching your your regular muscles, like your legs or your arms when you work out. And uh, another thing you can do too is you can take this opportunity to take a step back from your picture, take a step back from your painting. Because you, you've been in your painting and you've been in its face for so long, you wanna make sure that you take a step back and make sure that everything is proportionate, that your pose makes sense, that your uh, shading is right, just said that. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I did a little bit of editing. Uh, I edited her headpiece because it was clearly not in the right place, but I needed to take a step back to kind of figure out where it was actually. And now that I'm looking at this, I realize that her nose needs to be a little bit lower and her mouth needs to be a little bit lower as well. I bet you 20 bucks, 20 bucks. 
I do this for Jada. I'm gonna have, in, in 10 minutes, I will have Nikki calling me, being like, you stupid bitch, you're in trouble. You, you in trouble. Why did you not draw me yet? Um, what I usually do is I test out to see what works best with my painting at the time um, on this layer. So right now what I'm doing is I am doing a multiply layer. We're going to lay down our base colors right now. And what this color layer does is it lets me paint on top of this layer without um, making it like really opaque. Like I can still see the layer underneath essentially. I can still retain the values, you know. Base purple. What I'm doing right now is I'm kind of trying to establish all the colors for the outfit. I want this darker. Since she's going for like a cosmic space look, I want to just slowly add in bits of blues, red tone purples. Okay, now that I've laid down the colors, I can go ahead and go over with my overpaint layer. And this one I like to do, it's just, it's completely opaque. My opacity right now is 48, it's relatively light but it's still opaque enough. I feel like this kind of mimics um, acrylic paints. This is just like drawing your lips when you're painting your face, is you can go as big as you want, and then you can define it with your outer paint when you get there. Ooh, this is why you don't zoom in, because I completely ruined her face. <laughs> I can't really tell what color her eyes are in this picture, so I'm making them a mixture of hazel and gray. Drawing is, has always been one of my passions. Um, I started really liking drawing when um, I was a kid for, you know, two reasons. We were so poor that we couldn't really afford too many new things, but one thing that was always available to me was um, pencil and paper. I was looking at this and it was just not my thing. You know when something really nags at you and you just gotta get rid of it? This was my moment to get rid of it. I don't know why, I just, just didn't like it. I don't even remember how it looks like now. Okay, so we are gonna be in a home stretch right now. I'm going to make an executive decision and I'm going to just power through it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. You know what, this is a speed paint. And you know what I haven't been doing is being speedy about it, so. And like I said earlier, you know, this is a speed paint. If I wanna go back in and I wanna do more details with this, or I wanna make it like really, um, like really pop, then I will come back and do it, you know. If you wanna get better at drawing, you should not compare yourself to other people. You can learn from other people. You can learn their techniques. You can learn about the things that inspire them, but don't compare yourself to other artists. Let yourself grow at your own pace. You're not gonna become an experienced artist overnight. Like really, like, I cannot stress this enough. Do not compare yourself to other artists. Like that's just, that's not smart and that's not nice to yourself. Oh, you know what I do want? I want like a stark, like a stark kind of red. I feel like, Having this in the background really kind of puts focus onto the subject. I love the gray, it's good for creating values, but now it's time to etch everything out. Uh, oh my god, I don't know what that was. So this is one of my favorite things to do in a quick drawing, a quick paint, is to, as soon as I lay down all the colors, I will do highlights in um, just stark white, and it creates a new dimension. Good old Jada 8 cents haul. Now I'm just kind of going off reference. It's not going to exactly look like her exact outfit, but it will look somewhat close. I'm kind of just following the theming. Draw rhinestones right here. And the rhinestones that she's wearing right now, um, some of the spots are AB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just blue, put them on one side, and then I'm going to do green, highlight the other side. 
interesting. And then on the last side, I'm gonna put pink. Or like just add a little bit of accent of pink. And it kind of makes a, a little implied opalescent shine. I feel like her, I made her jaw like kind of lopsided, but it's okay. It's a speed paint. It's a speed paint. And some of these, and some of these. <laughs> Let's see what we have. The worm. <laughs> Great time. Ow. I hurt my fingers. All right, hour 30 speed paint of Jada. We are done. I'm looking at it from far away now. It looks great. Um, artists never seem to like what they make. So just bear that in mind. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and joining me on this new project that I've never done before. I've never done a speed paint. I've never had people watch me. Um, it's been really fun. I got to draw one of my favorite people in the whole entire world today, Miss Jada Essence Hall, winner of season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Please, if you do not already, go ahead and follow her. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, tell me who you want to see next. Um, I swear to God, half of you are going to say Cryji. You guys are going to want, like, be shown in, like, Yaoi, Yuri, like, girls love of Crystal and Gigi. If you guys want to see me draw that, first off, God have mercy on your souls. But secondly, leave a comment below. And please consider to support me on Patreon. If you do become a patron, we upload videos all the time, behind the scenes, uncut videos, um, extra photos. I interact with people a lot more on Patreon. On that note, thank you so much to all the patrons who helped sponsor today's video. Because of you guys, I'm able to make this content. Or if you'd like to support me another way, please consider buying a t-shirt from rock'emsoccer.com or buy a personalized message from Cameo. Talk to you later, guys.